What's up guys? I just got a brand new board. Uh, as you can see, I traded my board yesterday and I was just riding my cruiser board, which is size 9, which is really big. And now that I got another deck, this one's actually for some my skateboarding, like street skating and whatnot. So I'm using the trucks that I traded to Brandon. I traded those red thunders for these thunders just because I feel more comfortable skating. Uh, well, I didn't want to skate a full colored truck. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I just felt more comfortable seeing silver on my my trucks. I felt like that that was more comfortable for me. So we're about to set this board up and stash right here. We're at Beach Park, so it's about to be fun. Cool stuff. I want to talk about how. Dylan Reader passed yesterday at age 28. Uh, I know touchy subject for a lot of skateboarders that that was his favorite skateboarder, but want to talk about how he was a huge inspiration to me back whenever I saw A Time to Shine back in 2008. He had the last part in that video and I was really hyped whenever I saw that video part. It was just really... His style was really good. I kept, I, tricks that stood out to me were switch backside flip, down some set, switch big flip as his ender. That was super gnarly to me at that time. Um, he's just really good skateboarder. Then he, then his gravis part, that was amazing. Oh my gosh. I remember when I saw that, I fell in love with the video part. It was just, I couldn't stop watching it. It was just one of those video parts. But rest in peace to Dylan Reader. He definitely won't be forgotten. He's one of those skateboarders that just had the style, had the skateboarding skills, and so much people really, really loved his skate skating. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Hopefully. If you guys don't know who Dylan Reader is, go watch him. I hope you guys do. Uh, the whole skateboarding world lost someone really important. In the skateboarding community, of course. Greg also got a brand new board like me. We both got it at the local skate shop, uh, Baco. So, sh show him your graphic. You gotta fuck with Baco. Yeah. Just been chilling. Gonna see what we do right now. Gonna tighten this these trucks and we're gonna be ready to go. Alright, time to just tighten this. Here's mine. Bakersfield. Turn side, let me flip it over, I think it's this way. There you go. It's pink. Uh, I think it's Cancer Awareness Month or Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Which, if you guys don't know how Dylan Reeder died, he died of leukemia. So, I was actually interested in what was his last intro Instagram post. He was on the beach. Uh, so I don't know if he knew he was going to pass away 
or if it was just too much, I don't know. So, if you guys know any information on that, feel free to leave a comment. Don't know how to really go on from that. So, yeah. Basically, aside from that sad news, a lot of stuff has been going on in the skateboarding industry. So, we'll see, man, we'll see. Radness, coolness. All right, so we're gonna warm up here at Beach Park. And then after warming up here at beach, we're gonna head to the streets. So let's see what we can film here. Hey. <laughs> Little brother keeps commenting on Raymond's post to go pick him up. But we're out here on a skate mission trying to stack up some clips for the video. So he, Freddy, sorry, you'll have to wait for now. We left Beach Park right away because Raymond and Greg just started jumping down the 8th stair and I was like, why are you guys gonna jump down at 8th stair that's inside a skate park? So, I'm bringing them to the 8th stair down here in Mill Creek. Let them handle right here instead of breaking themselves on a skate park's 8th stair. You'll see right now. They're bad to handle. Let's go. I gotta, I gotta go for the pop shots. Don't even need to go that fast. <laughs> Alright, next one. Oh man, oh man, oh man, God. How do you feel? That was nice. I felt that was nice. I kind of rode away a little bit. Not Better bad. than skating Beach Park? Better than skating Beach Park. Fuck Beach Park, actually. Any other words you want to say out here? Heritage locals only. Fuck Beach Park. You heard it from Greg. Where? Wait, why? What's cool? Hey, look at Raymond. All right. Locals are cool at beach, but just can't fuck with Beach Park. The fuck park, Beach the, Park. Like the park itself? In general, the park. Not the people. We just need to rephrase that. Alright, since we're done now, we're done skating this eight. I didn't skate it, nah. We're going to another, I'm going to skate something else, but we're done with this spot. The eights there. Downtown Mill Creek. If you could see, people's boards go under that. So that's why we were had someone standing there, had our boards there to protect the Greg's and Raymond's board from going in there. So now we're off to the next spot. Uh, you'll see this there right now. We're out here at Sierra Middle School and we're gonna see what we're gonna skate. Well, might mess around with this manual pad at first and then skate inside the school. It has a long five stair, so we'll see. Not as long as Miramonte, that was it's a long five. But it's like, not that long. Pretty, pretty long for the average five, but we'll see, all right, let's skate. That counts. No. <laughs>
Believe it or not, that fakey flip was beating me up. But I'm glad Greg stuck with me to land that fakey flip. Believe it or not, that fakey flip was beating me up. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It was really fun. Uh, we didn't get to skate Sierra's five stair because there was so much people at the school that I'm pretty sure it was back to school night or something like that where parents go look at how their kids are doing. But other than case, we did our best, improvised there at that little manual pad and we just skated. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment comment section below and stay tuned for tomorrow's video bye have a good night